Hi everyone and welcome back on our YouTube video. Today we're going to see how to make a chocolate filled Christmas shoe kit for your Christmas teas and lunches. So let's get baking! So what we do to make our crackler, we add our flour, our brown sugar, and a softened up butter. Basically I left it out uh, for the last two hours so it's nice and soft. And we mix it gently together. We don't make a, a dough, we just make a slight paste. I use gloves because later on I'm going to add some colour to it. Now the crackling has come together. I'm going to add some colour to it. Now, I always use gloves so it saves uh, staining my hand. I'm using powdered colour because it gives a better, stronger uh, colour. And I add it little bit by little bit, then I can adjust the colour as I go along. I need to add a bit more. You have to make sure you get mix it in well so it's an even uh, colour all over. Now you can see our colour is nice all over. Uh, you need it a bit darker than what you want, uh, so when it bakes it will go a bit lighter in the oven. Now we put this in the fridge uh, for a couple of hours so the butter rehardens up, so afterwards it's easier to roll out. For our chocolate filling creamer, what we do, uh, we add our sugar, we add our corn flour, And our eggs and we whisk it all together nicely so we take out all the lumps. What we're going to do is make a creme pâtissier as a base. Now you can see all the lumps are out so it's ready to add later on to our milk. Next stage we add our milk to our saucepan, put it on the heat until it comes to the boil. Well right now as you can see it's come coming to the boil. We take it off, we add half our cream or half our milk to our mixture. Mix it well. Then we add this. Back to our saucepan. We put it back on our heat and we mix it till it goes thick. We do this so we get no lumps in our creme pâtissier. here. Yeah, you can see now it's starting to thicken up. There you go, our creme pâtissier is ready. Now what we do, we add our cream to our bowl. <coughs> then we add our cream. Our chocolate. and our butter. And we mix this slowly together. And the chocolate melts nicely uh, in the hot cream. And we just mix it all together so it's all mixed in. Now it's nice and smooth, what we do is cover it with some uh, clean film. We cover it 
well so the air doesn't get to it so it doesn't form a skin and we leave that in the fridge until it cools down for the minimum of uh, two hours it's the same you can make your cream uh, the day before and then it's ready uh, the next day uh, when you come to make your Well, now we're going to pipe our shoe, so don't forget a good owl, twist your bag so the shoe goes to the bottom. And it's very important to put little spots in the corner to hold your paper down so it doesn't fly away in the oven. The technique which most people won't tell you. And then what we do, we pipe around it, but you have to remember afterwards this round will triple in size in the oven so you need to give them lots of space so it doesn't matter if you don't fill your tray up completely and try and keep them uh, evenly as well so what we do we push down stop lift up Push down, stop, lift up. Now we've taken our crockler out of the fridge about a half an hour ago, so it's now nice and firmer. What we're going to do is put it onto a floured top and we're going to roll it out like pastry up. So we put it, flare it down. It's quite hard still. And then we just roll it and keep turning it so it doesn't stick. And then what we do, we just brush the excess flour off with our hand. And then uh, we find a cutter. And the cutter has to be the same size as a shoe. And we just cut out and place it on the top. Now you can see our shoe is ready with the crackling on the top. We bake them uh, in a preheated oven at 180 degrees for 30 minutes. You'll probably see after 20 minutes they look baked, but don't take them out because they're not baked, they will collapse. Now I have a good tip for you to stop your shoe from cracking. After 10 minutes, you open your door by one centimeter, and to keep it open, you use a wooden spoon. And that takes all the moisture out, and then for the last 20 minutes of baking, it just dries itself out. As you can see now they've come out the oven, they're a nice uh, colour, they're not too baked, and but they're nice and uh, flat at the bottom. Now we're going to fill them. Well, we take our chocolate filling cream out of the fridge, and we place it into a, another bowl, and then we're going to whisk it so it comes nice and light. As you see at the moment, it's a bit gelatiny. We just whisk it up like this. So now you can see it's nice and lighter. Now it's ready to pipe. So me, I use uh, this type of uh, tuber. Uh, all the equipment I use, you can find in the description below. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment and we'll get back to you. So I just put this in my piping bag. Pull it all the way to the bottom. Put the plastic in the, the bottom bit so the cream doesn't fall through. Roll it down and fill up my bag. As you can see, it's nice and light.
Now we're ready to pipe our shoe. Now with my bag, I make sure I turn it well at the end. I take my shoe, make a small hole, and I push the cream in. And people ask me, how do I know when it's fed up? It's by the weight. If you put too much in, what will happen? Basically, uh, when you take your thing out, it all spits out like this. Spot the edge off. Put it in. Squeeze. And at the same time, turn it around slightly. So the filling then goes into your shoe. Then take it. Stop squeezing and take it out. There we go. All the equipment we use, you find in the description below. Don't forget to leave a comment to let us know how it went and to subscribe to our channel.